Dr. Joseph Kanu understands that one way we can honor God is by being as healthy as possible. Dr. Joe believes modern science proves the healing abilities of remedies found in Scripture and, as a practicing chiropractor, blends those biblical truths with cutting-edge technology to enrich his patients' lives physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Welcome to Simple Truths for Healthy Living with Dr. Joseph Kanu. Listen for the next 30 minutes as Dr. Joe shares tips to help you live the healthy life God intends for you. And now your host, Dr. Joe. (laughs) Hey, hello Metro Detroit. This is Dr. Joseph Kanu of Rochester Chiropractic. And this is Dr. Jeff Haddad, Rochester Advanced Dentistry. Yes, our show, Simple Truths for Healthy Living, where our purpose is to be in the perfect will of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, to be teachers, servants, and examples of simple truths that prolong and enrich our lives physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Well, prolong, I think, is the, the, the magical word. Yes. You know, I mean, we... We've been talking about uh, prolonging life and, and avoiding things that uh, hinder our health, especially in the mouth. Yeah. Uh, last week we covered that, I think, very well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, talking about you know gum disease. And uh, I enjoyed that show. The, Periodontal disease causing rheumatoid arthritis. Wow, that was kind of a new one. Well, not causing it, but aggravating. Aggravating. Yes. It. You know, and 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 you know, gum disease has been a, you know linked to many other ailments, you know, uh, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, um, strokes, and now arthritis. And really what it comes down to is bacteria. Bacteria in the mouth is bacteria in the body. And the same types of uh, bacterial plaque in the mouth can settle on heart valves, can settle in the bloodstream. And, you know, it, it is amazing to me because it makes sense, at least from a common uh, sense standpoint, that you got an infection in the mouth, why wouldn't it travel the rest of your body? But for some reason, people are okay with a big old infected tooth. And, you know, if they had a, a gangrenous leg, they would be worried about it because, God forbid, that gets in the body. Well, right. it's all attached here, you know. And so sure. um, I feel that, you know, we, we, I think we refer to, um, you know, periodontal disease, gum disease as the silent killer because it doesn't hurt. You know, I mean, when it does hurt, it's usually too late. Mm-hmm. Um, but I kind of want to parlay – Last week's show a little bit. Um, I also wanted to use the word parlay for you and uh, and talk about you know because I feel like we never really got to the um, the end game mm-hmm. with periodontal disease, which unfortunately is losing teeth and abscesses that can actually form with these teeth. Doctor Joe, I want you to be honest, but I want you to look at your screen right now you want and I want to you be to honest? tell I want you to tell the listeners what you're looking at. What well, exactly? I, what was that picture that I sent I you? I am today? looking at <laughs> <laughs> a picture of something that's very nasty looking. Okay. Jeff. What, what, what exactly well, what, what it, would you call it? It's the first time I've seen an abscessed tooth. Yeah. 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 And uh, well, how can right. you describe that well, to, to the listeners? Oh, I wish the listeners could see this. It's a tooth that's all black. A long root, and now on the end of the root, if you can picture a tooth, on the very end of it is like a big ball, mm-hmm. a big cyst. Yeah, a like, cyst. That's right? A, yeah, it that's almost exactly looks it. like a big blister on your finger. Perfect. You know, yeah. if you ever burned your finger and it formed a big That's it. And blister. That's, that infection is what ca- is wow. caused. Wow. I've never tooth. seen that before. You know, it's uh, sometimes, mm. you know, ignorance is bliss, but obviously... Fear is a good motivator, too. And, again, we've talked about this. We need to start maybe posting some photos I'm like this. Have um, to... <laughs> we have to have Linda post this photo on the website. I don't want to you scare need to put, anybody. You but... need to put this on your refrigerator. Every time you're hungry, you want to just snack or something. <laughs> Actually, what it needs to be is on your, your bathroom mirror oh. so that you refer, remember yeah. to brush and floss. Yeah, remember to but brush and What we're going to talk about tonight, truly, and, and this is, is no joke, terrible is that looking. teeth truly can kill. I mean, yes. you know, you've got an abscess like that. And it can you know, get into the rest of your body and cause some serious uh, situations. So, so we're not going to talk about cosmetics today. Well, if you consider, no. <laughs> well, I can make that a little bit more cosmetic for you by removing like, that sack of, you know, of, Jeff, of infection. There, yeah, but. I like this type of a to- topic that teeth can kill. Just looking at that tooth, you can see that's going to kill you. That can kill. You know, I don't like to 
we, you know, dentistry, one of the biggest um, obstacles that I deal with is fear of the dentist, correct? I mean, people yeah. are afraid to come to the dentist. This is not to make people afraid of coming to the dentist. It's really to make them afraid to not come to the dentist. Sure. The goal for tonight is to inspire people to get into back to their dentist if they haven't been in a while because this is the stuff that can happen if sure. you don't. Well, let's start with a prayer. I think we'll need it. <laughs> it if I got like to keep, keep looking at this. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Uh, let's go to – we're going to talk about in, in 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 1. 1 Thessalonians verse 2, thanksgiving for their faith. And this is Paul talking. Now we give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers unceasingly, calling to mind your work of faith and labor, of love and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing brothers, Loved by God, how you were chosen, you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. So, anyways, it just goes on and on. It's a great passage, Thessalonians chapter 1. Lord, we pray for this entire Detroit metro area. We pray for all the listeners for prosperity, good health, and wisdom and insight. And bring us together, Lord, and help us to fellowship with one another that we might do good. We pray for all those who are driving to keep them safe. And please guide Dr. Jeff during this show. And we thank you for new life in his uh, family, for baby Sydney, that you would bless her and give her good health and vision and purpose. And bless all the friends that she's going to meet one day. Bless them right now. Well, you know, the the hopefully, you know, she's as social as 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 you and I are. <laughs> Maybe not as social. Actually, I take it back. I want my daughter to be less social. Yes. Um, but no, it's it's actually been it's been it's been great. You know, it's a uh, it's a whole new uh, routine at the, yeah. the Hannon household. A whole and, uh, new. We went from uh, man to man coverage to now zone. Yeah, I mean, you're three a zone children, <laughs> And uh, it is uh, it's got its own logistics, but we're we're getting there. Man, and I appreciate, man to man defense is no longer working. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. But we're finding our way. Yeah. So. Great. Hey, can I give a shout out? You know, I had my, our health class tonight. Mm-hmm. It's a great, enjoyable health class. I had the greatest bunch of people. Oh, that's good. We had about 20 people. It was really a lot of fun. Can you imagine 20 people crammed into my waiting room? <laughs> I had room. Oh, nice and cozy. I had room for 12, 20 show up, you know, but it, it went, went really mm-hmm. well. I met one person, a really nice person guy brian uh pollard i want to give a shout out to him and he brought his wife in yes yeah danita Uh and she's uh, she talked to me told me she saw you and she's got some tmj stuff she does i want you to take extra good care of her i i will i danita was great i uh, i really enjoyed her you know she's a a person who is um very educated on her situation um, well, they're, and, they're and, listeners too. They listen to which you. Is, so. and, and I love that. And, and, and then that, you got a great website, right? Roger, what's your website? RochesterAdvancedDentistry.com. Um, no, and I love. I it's mean, it's so honest, great for patients to look at that website before they come in and it's get great. educated. Well, you know, the web the website in combination with again this radio show really it makes my job easier because um, people come already educated to, cer- to a certain degree. They have very great questions to ask me that maybe just needs a little void filled in or even some um, um, to support some of their you know questions or even alleviate some of their fears of the, of the treatment and Danita was one of those and you know unfortunately when you're dealing with a TMJ situation there's we're limited on some of our, our options. We have very good ones and very predictable ones. We treat people like this every single day. It's one of the big focuses in my practice. But it does take some time and an investment to get people from this pain, painful state and, and uncomfortable um, um, headache situation, jaw pain, whatever they're experiencing, and get them to – a level of comfort, you know, but we do it. We do it all the time. And, you know, our goal is to educate our patients like you do and, um, you know, on the radio and in your office. We want people to know what their options are. I got to tell them what is possible. 
and then it's our job to figure out ways to make it affordable for them. You know, and we have experts at our office that work with our patients because this stuff does get expensive. Um, and believe me, I'm well aware of it. But it's also one of those things where you've talked about where you don't, you get what you pay for. You know, yeah. and and I would mm-hmm. hate for somebody to, um, you know, waste their money on. Uh, well, we talked about it a few weeks ago. Over-the-counter type appliances, the quick, easy, cheap fix. Well, a lot of times, not only does that not help, but it actually makes things worse. And you're st- you're throwing money away at things that maybe, 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 maybe with the hope when really there's no data to support it. You know, at least what I like to mm-hmm. tell people is this: mm-hmm. what I do for people is predictable. I know from the very first appointment. Before any money exchanges hands, if I can help that person. When we hook a person up to our computer and do a K7 jaw evaluation, which is what we do with, with our patients, we know that day, okay, we've, get, we've brought you from here to here. And if we make you an appliance to keep your jaw in this proper position, you're going to get better. If I don't see that, no harm, no foul, no money exchanges hands. I said, listen, this right. is not where your problem <clears throat> is. We need to find you help somewhere else because I don't want to waste anybody's time. I don't want to give them false hope. I don't want to waste my time. I like to be successful, and I am only successful if I can help somebody that is a candidate for my treatment. I like okay. to kind of rule things out at that point. And again, Danita was a great person that we we know we can help her. I mean, sure. we know we can, and um, she has the information that she needs. We talked about it, and at that, you know, when she's ready, if she's ever ready to go down that path, right. then I'll be waiting for her. You know, sure. and, and it's a very well, good beautiful. thing. Beautiful, that is a good thing. Hey, if anyone would like to call in, we are live on the air to talk. Ask Doctor Jeff any questions. Please call three one three. 838-1035. And then I don't have to stare at this ugly, nasty-looking <laughs> tooth abscess. Well, I'm going to keep this that up is for amazing. inspiration for you, all right? You've got to put up with it. <clears throat> Actually, I am so glad you brought this. I've never seen anything like that. I, I'm kind of in shock of what well, that looks like. Listen, the good Lord has made sacrifices. You're, this is the sacrifice you're going to make for our <laughs> listeners, all right? You're going to sit here. In fact, I may blow that up and make a poster out of it, we're going to Put it to the top, at the top of your oh, bedroom. We're going <laughs> to put it on the, on, the, on the ceiling there. But it would be um, good to put it in your bathroom mirror now that you say it. Just to, <laughs> don't skip ever brush. You'll never skip brushing and flossing no. again. Well, now, Jeff, what causes something like What are the causes? So let's talk that? about that. So we talked about gum disease last week. Okay? Yes. And, periodontal. Um, periodontal well, well, gum why don't disease. You re- what is periodontal? What does that actually so, mean? So the periodontal, I mean, in essence, it's, it's the gum tissue. Okay, the gum and, and it's tissue. a technical term for for the um, well, it's 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 a lot. It's not just the gums, but it's the bone surrounding the teeth. You've got bone around each one of your teeth. You've actually hence got, periodontal. Correct. We've right. we've also got ligaments around teeth too. I mean, you know, if you grab a tooth right now, literally there's a little movement. Now, it shouldn't little, be a lot of movement. Okay, so a, a lot of movement, we got bit. a problem. But right. there's flex there, and that's where our proprioception comes from. That's how the 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 brain knows when you're chewing not to chew too hard. Okay, mm-hmm. and so. When we have a gum infection, what happens is the bacteria that we have in the mouth builds up because you're not brushing, because you're not flossing, and it starts to feed on the bone level around the tooth. And you've had in the past, um, when you go to your uh, hygienist, they do the little measuring around the tooth, twos, threes, they're calling out these numbers. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know what that means, it's actually the level of Bone from the gum tissue that you see where the tooth meets all the way down to where the bone level is. And that should only be about two or three millimeters. Once you start getting into fours, five, sixes, God forbid more than that, we've got real problems. And we can't let it get to that situation or you're going to result in an infection in the mouth that may even require surgery to – to alleviate it. And even then, it's only going to maintain it. Once you lose the bone in the mouth, it's gone. It is gone. Now, you can go through surgical procedures and put grafts and all that, but again, it's gone. It's not going to come back if you decide after 10 years of not taking care of your teeth, it's just going to grow back. It doesn't. So tonight, what I want is for people to understand that it can be too late if you wait too long. But the sooner you get in, the sooner you're going to be able to get addressed, even if you have had some bone loss. 
Mm. It can be maintained if you get in with your your uh, dentist. Um, if you do not have a dentist, obviously we deal with with uh, with this uh, condition on a daily basis. You know, I, I know that we talk a lot about my uh, treatment with TMJ of TMJ patients and sleep apnea and a lot of our cosmetic stuff. So it almost sounds like we're more of a specialty type practice, but. And we do have a lot of focuses like that that, that um, specialize in different areas of dentistry. However, we are a family practice, okay? I see children as young as two years of age, and I saw a woman the other day who was 94 years of age. And so we are a family wow. practice, and we treat gum disease on a daily basis. My hygienists are, have been trained more than – some of the dentists in the area, okay? I mean, I, as you know, I invest in my wow. team, yeah. and they know, and you know exactly what? I don't think you're joking this. when you say that. I mean, you're no, serious. No, I'm very serious. Yeah. I, that was not a tongue-in-cheek. It's a fact. Yeah. My yeah. hygienists have actually taken more continued education than some dentists in the area, and it's because I value it that much and because technology is our friend and that research and, and information is gives us more knowledge and more um, tools in our toolbox to address something like this, to avoid things like surgery. I've had patients that have come to me, Joe, for second opinions that have been told their only choice is, is uh, gum surgery to, to get things taken care of. And I look at it, wow. and I don't understand it, and we put them through our little what we call perio program, our perio therapy, gum therapy. And sometimes we utilize a laser, which is a great tool that we, that we use, um, and we avoid surgery very, very often. In my office, it takes a lot for you to get to that point where surgery is involved. And sometimes it's necessary, mm. but I'll tell you, I can't remember the last time um, that I could probably count on my, my one hand in the last five years, the people we've had to send – to have a, a gum surgery. So again, it's it's about education, it's about knowledge, and it's about giving us the opportunity to help you. And so, if any patients are out there, any listen, listeners who maybe don't have a dentist, don't be shy. You know, you can call our office at two four eight six five six twenty twenty. If you'd like to educate yourself, again, I appreciate you know Dr. Joe mentioning my website because it really is my baby. I spent a lot of time on it. Rochester Advanced. Dentistry.com. There's a lot of information in there about how we treat uh, gum disease, how you know we utilize technology. Is this picture? No, I, it's not. It's, but I think I'm going to put it up there. You know, uh, no, you know, it, I'm going to put it on our website. Simple truth, right next to your face. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to put my hair right on the top. Yeah. Of it. Um, well, no, you know, this 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 topic is actually very timely because I actually had a patient come in today, Joe, who um, who actually uh, read uh, one of my articles. That, you know, I, I write a lot of articles for. Um, some of, some of the hometown um, newspapers here in Rochester, and she had an abscess. Now it was on a back tooth on her left side, and she was in more pain than you can imagine. And I want to specify two things. One, I had to put her on an antibiotic because I couldn't even work on this tooth mm. because it was so inflamed, and because it was so close to her, the nerve that actually gives feeling to her whole lower uh, left part of her lip that we needed to get things under control before we can even um, well, address it. Begin to work on it. Is she, this a case where she really couldn't tell you where the pain was coming from because the whole yes, it is. jaws It's just It's hurting. very impossible to localize things like that because it's just radiating everywhere. But you could tell. Well, uh, no question. Once we from get an x-ray? From an x-ray. You see that abscess right away. Now, here's what well, I Well, that abscess shows up on an x-ray because oh. it's kind of soft tissue. Well, that's the point. Bone is hard. Bone right. is radio-opaque. That's radiolucent. So you're going to see. see a dark circle right around the end of the root, and that's what that looks like on x-ray. Mm. It's, it's flat. That's exactly Pretty what x-rays show that. us. That's why you know when people fight us on, on x-rays, appreciate you know the fact that we don't want excess radiation. But we can only see so much with our eyes. Now, luckily, back to the right technology, we have digital radi uh, radiographs in our office, which is 70% less radiation than That's any of the pretty older. Sig significant. Oh, it's night and day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but that said, I couldn't see this without an X-ray, and I need to take it. But I want to make this point: the antibiotic we put her on was only to get things a little bit more comfortable. And get things a little bit more, a little less swollen for us to work on it. No antibiotic.
can fix an antibi- uh, an abscess. Now, why is that? Because an abscess is the the root of the <laughs> pun no pun intended. The root of the problem is the tooth. Yes. No, <laughs> the actual <laughs> cause <laughs> of the abscess is the tooth. Right. Uh-huh. The tooth needs to be treated, and an- you could hit that thing that you're looking at the, the, right. on the paper uh, that we're looking at here. Hit it with. Ten different doses of ten different antibiotics. It will never go away. It may make things feel good, but usually what happens when you have an antibiotic is that because it's it, walled off. It's completely walled off. So the antibiotic can't get in. Not only that, but it's the tooth that's causing it. You got to treat the tooth. So the, the tooth itself, it's along the root, right, with, right down the center you, of the tooth. Exactly. And it's just oozing out the bottom of the exactly. root. Exactly. Is that what it, that and looks? And gets into the bone. And causes a bone infection and causes a big time problems. I mean, I've had people come in that, I mean, their face is literally, you know, out, out out about six inches, and you're like, I mean, it looks like they they have oh, a no. softball in there. That is severe. That is life threatening when you have a bone infection like that. That could cl- close off an airway. So it's very very scary when we see things like that. And again, it can be avoided. Something like we're looking at here, an abscess tooth. You got two choices and two choices only. You either extract the tooth, which we don't like to do. Right. Okay? You only get one set of teeth here, and as good as dental implants are, and I'm a big fan of them, we want to keep what God gave you. Okay. And the second and the only other choice to do is a root canal. Root canal is a very good option. What it does is it literally disinfects the tooth from the inside. Because you actually suck it out, right? We get all the infection out of there. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We wall off the tooth from the body. The body can... And then at that point – What do you mean by that? You wall off – We actually put a filling that goes down into the root Okay. that is biocompatible uh, with the body. It's just literally a rubber material, and it corks the tooth essentially so that no bacteria can get back down there. You know, there's gotcha. a there's a misnomer out there that root canals are bad, and you know you don't want to do that because it traps bacteria. That's completely not true. What people are talking about, and it is a misconception, is that a root canal that is not done properly – or a root canal that is um, that fails later on in life, you know, I don't know, 10, 15 years, which anything can fail. I mean, you put a the best crown in the world, it's not going to last forever. Nothing lasts forever, okay? When you buy a car, odds of that being the first car and last car of your entire life are pretty slim. Well, that's not. a great okay? point. These are right. just materials, and even uh-huh. a root canal can fail. And if, if, if a failing root canal is not addressed, yes, there's infection and it's in the body. It might as well be that abscess. But doing a root canal is what saves the body from this infection. It's what causes the body the opportunity to heal itself, and it's what allows us to make sure uh-huh. that you um, – that a, a proper level of health can be be achieved, okay? And so we actually um, – you know, a lot of people even, even ask us, you know, how do you see down this root and all that? Right. Well, I've got magnification – in my um uh you know what I call my loops you know my my right. my glasses right. that is two and a half three times uh I say I mean it's pretty much a microscope now I have endodontic specialists who are all they do is root canals that actually have microscopes that will give ten times the magnification and actually even have cameras to take pictures of that canal mm-hmm. I mean now. And I work with some great people, and, and, and I do a lot of root canals, but I've told you because this before. Because you don't I'm, want to go in blind, right? You never want to go in blind. Because, I mean, how many roots, different channels, canals can there be? Depends on the tooth. So if it's a front tooth, a lot most of the time it's one. If it's a very back tooth, it can have three, it can have four, it can have five. Okay, wow. each tooth is completely is that different. Like a Guinness book. <laughs> I, yeah. I bet you there's been more than that, to be honest. But what, the the whole point is disinfecting it, and what we need to do is we need to get all the bacteria out of there, and that's what. So that's to, where it could be done improperly if you're not sure how many different canals there are. That's correct, right? and if you have a if you're not taking, it's just like anything in in life, but especially in dentistry, it's all about technique. It's about taking your time. It's all about doing it right the first time. Okay, and and yeah. you know you want. You want the best odds in your favor, and what do you do? You've got magnification. You've got the right um, uh, uh, radiographs, so, you know, the x-rays. My digital x-rays, I, you've seen that when, when we put them on. I could put them on a 50-inch TV. 
You don't think I'm yes. seeing something better than, than those it. old school? You know, do you right. ever see? Do you ever see that? Remember back in the day, the dentist they had the little ones that were like an inch, and they're like right. trying to look up right. the light. <laughs> I mean, that's what I had to do, yes. and literally right. Right. to a point where I actually have dentists who or patients that will come to me like, oh, I just had um, X-rays done, you know, a year ago, and they bring them, and they're these little right. things, and I'm tiny like, ones that fit in my wallet. Yeah. I have some of those. Do, do, do you carry those around? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and, but, but you know what I say to people? I say, and, and again, it's you know, obviously there's radiation and obviously there's money involved. But I tell people, I say, listen, I believe in digital radi- radiation and digital X-rays so much on helping me diagnose. I am going to take these for free for you because the these that you've brought in are useless. Yeah. I mean, I can't see anything. They're out not of useless, things. but it's nowhere near. In my opinion, yeah. they're useless compared to what I know I can see with what yeah, I. Yeah. Is that fair sure. to say? Yeah. Um, obviously, it's right. better than nothing. Right. But really, it's it'd be like you know, again, it'd be like you driving your a nice Cadillac versus the Model T. The Model right. T is going to get you around, but right. it's not you know right. the technology isn't no, to there. To see is to know, and yeah. you you know that's knowledge. No you, question you about it. Definitely want to have better knowledge, better. To see, oh no, no question about You're it. You're gonna, it, mi- you don't want to miss things. You don't want to get it 80 percent right. No, no, you yeah. want to get it right the first time. And and again, it comes down to uh, education and utilizing things. I mean, God, you think about so so this really and, so this really what happens? It's a cavity that's actually gone so deep and been that it, so neglected that it affects the nerve. That it goes all the way down the nerve canal. That's correct. Once the nerve so it's is involved, eating through, it's amazing. Patients don't have a lot of pain. You well, think? Well, a lot of people do. It's just not every single time. If the decay progresses slow enough, an, an infection you kind of acclimate to it. Where the body can find ways to, to well to quote unquote defend itself. But an app, I've had, and this is one of the, this is some of the worst uh, uh, situations for me when patient comes in. We're just taking routine X-rays, and I look. I said, um, you know, Mr. Smith, have you had any pain on this lower right side? Nope, not at all. Really? Well, take a look at this. And they've got a full-blown abscess. Now, it's not swollen or anything, but it's in the bone. Now, if we allow it to – if we left it alone, that eventually big problems. Right. But they have no idea it happened. You know, uh, something happened at some point. The body is doing its best to fight, you know, fight things off, but that's in the body. And I've had patients that are like, yeah – the last few months, I've just felt terrible and really run down, and that's why. They had a dental infection. They had no idea it was there. Their body's doing its best to, to fight things off. I mean, you've, you've had um, you know, uh, swollen um, lymph nodes before, right? right? Or Short tender throat. ones. Mm-hmm. I mean, just like, you know, and it's yeah. your body. You feel fine, but you're like, wow. What's why going on here? Why, why is it so tender here around my neck? Right. Well, I mean, your body is an amazing thing. You've got lymph nodes. It's trying its best to fight this infection off. It doesn't change the fact that it's there, and you need to be aware of it, and especially a dental infection. You need to be aware of it because you can't fix it. You know, I, I don't want to say that your only choice is the dentist, but it is, and make it a choice early on so they can address it, save your tooth, as opposed to – Extracting it and having to look at what we're looking at. Yeah, we right don't here. want to extract it. No, I mean you lose a tooth. However, that is killing you. We need to take your mouth serious and your teeth. No, nope. yeah. I mean that's that's what I feel like I'm hoping to, to accomplish tonight. I mean to inspire people who have not been to the dentist for a while. Well, I mean I mean looking at that and, and if someone has that and and it's not hurting them, but all that bacteria is leaching. Right. We can do our healing oils. Take your juice plus. Do you know? Drink the herbal tea remedies I talk about. You know, we covered gallbladder cleansing. Right. But boy, this—that's some serious. That's a losing battle. No, it's, it's like a trying losing to, battle. Like no matter to, what you yeah, do. Yeah. Knock down a house with a, a wiffle bat. Okay. Yeah. You can try, <laughs> but yeah. really, and, and I and I agree. And unfortunately, a lot of people do try to do the the self uh, help or, and, and home remedies. And believe me, I I, I anything that has um, and that has a lot of value in a lot of um, different areas of medicine and chiropractic. We know that. I'm just trying – this is a fact. This is not my opinion. Nothing is going to help that except for getting in with your dentist and making sure that either – if it's a gum infection, it's addressed professionally because no matter – if you decide to – if you've got gum disease and you just decide to be the brushing and flossing king or queen, 
It's not going to do anything. We need to get you up to a level of health that you can maintain, and you can't do that without professional help, unfortunately. Same thing with a dental emphasis. You need to get to your dentist. The sooner you get there, the sooner we can address things and be as conservative as possible. Don't, Don't come too late where we have no choices. I hate not give, being able to give anybody options. I want to give you the options. I want to say, well, listen, we can address this a couple of different ways. But when you get to this point where you have a full-blown dental abscess, the bone is gone around the tooth. We've lost all our options. So get into your dentist. If it's been sure. a long time, we will welcome you back. We do not judge. We want to help you. Um, please, if, if fear is keeping you from the dentist, we have so many ways to make things comfortable for you, whether it be nitrous oxide like we've talked about. Um, just some of the technology we have makes things so painless. It's not the same dental office you've been you, that you that you went to 10, 20 right. years ago. Sure. Things have changed. So give us the opportunity to prove to you that dentistry has changed, and let's get your mouth up to a certain level of health where you're living life again and yes. not having the, the potential not to fight of, of infection. Not constant infection. Correct. And toxins. We don't need to do that. No. It's a great show, Jeff. I, you I, did it again. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't talk about cosmetics today. As nasty as that picture is, we I'm going to post this on our website. Simple truths for healthy living. You better do Please that. Please don't neglect your teeth. It is it can be killing you. And really, Jesus came to give us life abundantly, not just make us survive. We're, right. we're supposed to be thriving. And that's what we need to do. Take good care of your mouth is a very important piece of the puzzle. I, I couldn't agree yep. more. Well, thank you for de- de- dedicating your time. And remember, and while well, you can call Dr. Jeff, Rochester Advanced Dentistry, 248-656-2020. You can go to our website, Simple Truths for Healthy Living, and listen to all these shows as well. And remember, in all that you do, eat or drink. Do all things to the glory of God. Jeff, we'll see you next Wednesday. I will be here. Looking forward all right. to it. See you then. You've been listening to Simple Truths for Healthy Living with Dr. Joseph Kanu. If you'd like to talk with Dr. Joe, call 248-656-1011. That's 248-656-1011. And tune in again Monday through Friday from 1030 to 11 for another edition of Simple Truths for Healthy Living with Dr. Joseph Kanu. The content on this program is for sharing general information purposes only. It is subject to change with ongoing research. It is not meant to diagnose, treat, prevent, or cure anything. Dr. Kanu encourages you to make your own healthcare decisions based upon your own research and in partnership with a qualified healthcare professional of your choice.